Ooh. Hey y'all, tis the day that I will finally be showing you guys my favorite hair products. If you'd like to get any of these products for yourself, I will leave all the information down below in the description box. I also have a video on my favorite curly hair tools, so check that out as well. So all of these products are my favorite products. They're sulfate free and silicone free and paraben free. They're both curly girl and curly boy approved. First cleansers. First is the Maui Moisture Coconut Milk Shampoo. This is one of my favorites because it's one of the most affordable on the market for sure. It's sulfate free, silicone free, and the first ingredient in all Maui Moisture products is 100% aloe vera juice. It also contains coconut water, coconut milk, and mango seed butter. It's really drying compared to most sulfate-free shampoos, but it's nowhere near as drying as a sulfate shampoo. So it's definitely a great bargain. Next is this little guy. It's the Mop Top Clarifying Rescue Treatment. This is meant to be used in place of your shampoo once a month to get rid of buildup to create a clean slate for your hair. It really helps to increase my curl definition and it does a great job with clarifying. It is sulfate-free and silicone-free and contains menthol. Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Co-Wash Conditioning Cleanser. I don't know why they said co-wash and conditioning cleanser. It literally means the same thing, but whatever. They're Shea Moisture. They do whatever the frick they want. This is my favorite co-wash. I do use co-wash sometimes on the days where I don't want to shampoo because my hair is way too dry, but I need to refresh Maher. This is sulfate-free and silicone-free. It contains wheat, jojoba, grapeseed, mango butter, and shea butter. Now this is my favorite shampoo, hands down. This is what I always use on all of my wash days and it's the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Shampoo. This stuff is the bomb diggity. It is sulfate free and silicone free. It also contains rosehip oil, argan oil, shea butter, and aloe vera juice. This gives me the perfect balance of cleanliness and moisture. This shampoo just never does me wrong. Next, conditioners and deep conditioners. And we have another Maui Moisture, and this is the Coconut Milk Conditioner. This is one of the most affordable conditioners right now that are silicone free and that are mass produced. So that's why I chose it as one of my favorites. It contains aloe vera juice, coconut water, coconut milk, mango seed butter, and guava seed oil. I ain't gonna lie, this doesn't have anything too special. It gets the job done and it's cheap. Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner. Man, they really like to get wordy with their products. Honestly, I love everything by Shea Moisture. Their conditioners are pretty dope. I like this one significantly better than the rest solely because it contains Jamaican Black Castor Oil. It also contains coconut oil, peppermint, jojoba, and shea butter. Jamaican Black Castor Oil is great for thickening the hair and lengthening the hairs. It provides great slip, great moisture, and great definition. The conditioner that I am using every single wash day is the Hairfinity Balanced Moisture Conditioner. This conditioner is super bomb. It gives me the right balance of strength and moisture. It's silicone free. It contains aloe vera juice, hydrolyzed collagen, keratin, and panthenol. It has great slip. It strengthens my strands and it's really good for growing out your hair. So I use this every single wash day. Next is the Diva Curl One Condition Decadence. I have not had a lot of luck with the Delight and the One Condition bottles, but the Decadence one has always given me extreme moisture. Whenever my hair is super dried out, I can always turn to this to rehydrate my hair. This is silicone free and contains olive oil, hops extract, rosemary, and hydrolyzed quinoa. Now for deep conditioners. I use this deep conditioner about every other wash day. It is the Hairfinity Strengthening Amino Mask. This contains hydrolyzed collagen and hydrolyzed keratin as well as panthenol. All Hairfinity products are meant to strengthen your hair so you can have healthy growth. It has great slip and I can always count on it to give me moisture even when my hair feels like freaking hay. Diva Curl Deep Sea Repair Seaweed Strengthening Mask. Diva Curl released two new deep conditioners this year and I actually went to the launch party in New York. It was so freaking dope. Out of both of the new ones, I liked the Deep Sea Repair better just because it's better for thinner hair. Of course, it's silicone free and contains coconut oil, hops extract, soy amino acid, hydrolyzed soy protein, and wheat amino acids. This stuff is thick. Okay, a little goes a long way and it does a great job at replenishing moisture when my hair is as dry as a freaking haystack. Briogeo, don't despair, 
repair deep conditioning hair cap system why are these names so freaking long my jaw hurts anyways this specific package comes with both the deep conditioner and a steaming cap this cap is lined with essential oils on top of the deep conditioner and it's just so amazing this is definitely the heaviest deep conditioner that i've ever tried so it's definitely great for hair that is very 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 dry this is silicone free and contains algae aloe vera orange peel oil ginseng lemon grapefruit and avocado and lastly stylers Tropic Isle Living Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Y'all, you know I'm always be saying this. I love my JBCO. I cannot go without it. I've been using this for four years and this is my secret behind my hair growth, hands down. I massage it into my scalp for about five minutes, put on a cap and I keep that on for like an hour and then I wash it out in the shower. JBCO helps to thicken the hair and help it grow. I've been able to grow my hair past my shoulders twice in the last two years because of this. Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. Now this is also the old version. I haven't tried the new one but I'm pretty sure not much has changed. This gel is the best gel that I I've tried it never flakes on me it gives me great definition and it doesn't dry out my hair it is silicone free and contains wheat peptide oat peptide soy and hops shea moisture 100 virgin coconut oil leave-in treatment although it says it's a leave-in treatment it's actually a leave-in conditioner i like this significantly more than other leave-in conditioners because it's very light it comes out as a very light spray so it's very easy to distribute throughout the hair and you can't use too much because it's a very light spray it's very buildable and it does a great job with moisture and definition. It's silicone free and contains coconut oil, sweet almond oil, argan oil, nettle, and hydrolyzed keratin. Mop Top Curly Hair Custard. This is hands down my most favorite styler ever of all time and it is my go-to and i use it every single wash day this is a very creamy gel it's hard to explain but it's like a slime or a goop it gives my hair moisture a lot of shine control frizz control definition and it allows me to keep my volume it never flakes and it's water soluble so it's very light on the hair and it doesn't build up I don't think y'all understand. If this product is discontinued, I will go ballistic, okay? It is silicone free and contains aloe vera juice, pectin, silk amino acids, nettle, and rosemary. Diva Curl Frizz Free Volumizing Foam. Now this is the old version. I still haven't tried the updated version, but I'm pretty sure it's similar. This stuff is the best mousse ever. I've used a lot of mousses and they're really, really drying, but this one is very moisturizing for a mousse and it allows me to have volume while giving me definition and control. It's silicone free and contains hops extract. Diva Curl Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler. This is a leave-in conditioner and it's one of my favorites hands down. Diva Curl in general creates some of my most favorite stylers. They just have a really great variety. It is silicone free and contains coconut oil, hydrolyzed jojoba protein, hops, rosemary, and wheat protein. This leave-in conditioner gives me moisture and definition and it never leaves my hair flaky or greasy. This is some bomb diggity stuff. Which I Love Your Hair Spray. This is by a very small brand on Instagram. This spray is aromatherapy in a bottle and there are so many uses for it. I use it to refresh my curls every single morning. I spray some on my face. It's a really good toner for your skin. I use it on my clothes to freshen up my scent. And it makes a great primer for styling before you put on your stylers after the shower. What makes me love this even more is that it has shards of crystals inside to mix the solution. Crystals, y'all. Y'all know how I love my crystal. Mm. This has no sulfates, no silicones, no mineral oil. It has organic lavender oil, organic peppermint oil, organic rosemary oil, organic Jamaican black castor oil, and organic argan oil. Alrighty, y'all. So those were my favorite hair products, and I really hope y'all enjoyed that. Comment down below your favorite hair products and where you can purchase them to help each other out. This is a community, okay? We help each other out. Please leave comments slash suggestions of things you'd like for me to do slash discuss on this channel. And if you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, I will leave all the links down below. Yes, the description box is full of magic information, okay? Always check it in every single video. Anyways, tis the end. Did you just hear my shoulders pop? I really hope I don't have juvenile arthritis. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.